Hi everyone, in this video we are going to discuss this result that every closed and bounded set need not be compact. Actually, we have seen one result. That result is in matrix space R and D where D is a Euclidean distance. Set A is compact if and only if A is closed and bounded. So that means if set is compact, then it is closed and bounded. And if the set is closed and bounded, then it is compact. But see, this result is true only for R and D, matrix space R n with a Euclidean distance D. But if you have any general matrix space X D, this result need not be true, right? So here we are going to prove that if you have any closed and bounded set in any arbitrary matrix space X D, then it need not be compact. So this thing we are going to prove. Okay, just a minute. Let me remove this. So that means what we have to prove exactly. We have to find one set which is closed and bounded and we have to prove that it is not compact. So let us consider a matrix space RD. Okay, so I'm going to consider a matrix space. Let or consider a matrix space, matrix space RD. Okay, R means set of real numbers and D is not a usual distance. Huh? Here D is a discrete matrix where D is the discrete matrix. Discrete matrix. Okay, so you are familiar with this discrete matrix. So it is defined in very simple way. Distance between X and Y is 0 if points are equal, X and Y are equal and if X and Y are different, D of X, Y is equal to 1. So we are familiar with this discrete matrix. So such matrix space we have. Let us consider one subset of R. Let A is equal to close interval 0, 1. So I have considered a set A is equal to close interval 0, 1. So we are going to prove that the set A it's closed and bounded and after that we will prove that it is not compact, right? Okay. We know that in discrete matrix space, every set is both open and closed. Okay. So let me just write this result. We know that, we know that in a discrete matrix space, every set is open and close. See, every set is open and close. So that's why A is also we can say it is a closed set since every set is open and close. One more thing I need to add, every set is open, close and bounded also. Open and close and bounded also. Since we know that in a discrete matrix space, we have just two distances, right? So first is zero, if x is equal to y and second is 1 if x is not equal to y. Only two possibilities are there. So if you take any two points x and y, distance between them is obviously less than 2 since the distance can be either 0 or can be 1. So here we can say distance between any two points is less than 2. So that's why we can say the set is bounded. So by using this logic, we can say, so every set in a discrete matrix space is open and close already we know and now we are adding it is bounded also. So using this result, I can write, so therefore, A is close and bounded subset of R, okay, with discrete matrix D. Okay, so in a discrete matrix space RD, we can say the set A is closed and bounded. So the first half is done that set A is closed and bounded. Now we have to prove that it is not compact. Okay, let me write here. Just a minute. We have a space, so let us use. Okay. See, now we will prove that we will prove that A is not compact. 
So we are familiar with the definition of compact set. When we say the set is compact, if every open cover has a finite subcover, then we say the set is compact. Here we have to prove A is not compact. That means we have to find an open cover which has no any finite subcover. Okay, so let us find such open cover. See a uh, late or late script C. I am considering script C is a collection of sets. Okay, it's a collection of singleton sets. I am considering X belongs to A, B A collection of collection of open sets in R D. Getting obviously D is a discrete metric. So it's a collection of open sets. Why I am saying it is open? Since we know that in a discrete metric, every set is open, closed and bounded. So this open I am using here. So every set is open. That's why singleton set is also open. So this is a collection of open sets in RD, right? Clearly, clearly A is equal to union of singleton X, X belongs to A. Actually, this is very obvious thing. Since in R, on a real line, we have this interval, close interval 0, 1, we have call it as set A. And here we have a singleton set. For each point, we have a singleton setting. So here singleton, each point we get there. And if you take union of all points, if you take union of all singleton sets, or you can say simply union of all points, which are in A, then obviously it is equal to A, right? So what I want to say, each set is open and it covers A. So you can say script C is an open cover of A. So let me write here, therefore, script C is an open cover of A. I hope still you remember what we have to prove. We have to prove that it is not compact. That means we have to prove that there is one open cover which has no finite subcover. So finally, we got an open cover. Now we will prove that it has no finite subcover. Now, to prove that script C has no finite subcover, this thing we have to prove, right? But see, normally in mathematics, what we do when we want to prove anything, we assume exactly opposite to that. And we write some logical st statements and finally we get a contradiction and we say we get a contradiction therefore our assumption is wrong and we rectify our statement we get a result. So same thing I am going to do we have to prove it has no finite subcover I will assume that let it possible it has a finite subcover just make a screenshot of it then I will go further. So let me write here let it possible let if possible script C has finite subcover for A. So let us call it as say script C dash. That means script C dash has finite number of elements which can cover the entire set A. So we have called it as script C dash. So it has finite number of elements. So let us call them as singleton x1 singleton x2 and so on singleton xn it has n number of elements that means finite number of elements right so it it is a sub cover that means it can also cover a so therefore i can write it can cover so a is equal to union of singleton xi i running from 1 to n what it means it means singleton x1 union singleton x2 union and so on union singleton xn so if you take union of these all, you will have a such set x1, x2 and so on xn. So what is our left hand side? Our left hand side is A. A is what? A is a close interval 0, 1. So let me write close interval 0, 1. Get it? So close interval 0, 1 has infinitely many elements. And in the right hand side, we have a finite number of elements. So we are saying both of them are equal which cannot be possible since in left hand side we have an infinite set and in right hand side we have a finite set. So let me mention here it is not possible because because close interval 0 1 is an infinite set infinite set and 
in the right hand side side we have finite set and we cannot say both of them are equal so we get a contradiction getting so why we are getting contradiction because our assumption is wrong what was our assumption our assumption was script c has a finite sub cover so that is wrong so uh, we should rectify the statement and we should say script c has no finite sub cover i'm going to write it just make a screenshot of it so therefore i have written a conclusion here so we get contradiction because of our wrong assumption and we rectified our statement that is script c has no finite sub cover so we got a co open cover which has no finite sub cover so therefore we say a is not compact so therefore a is not compact in matrix space rd where d is a discrete matrix getting so here we got a set which is close and bounded but it is not compact so therefore every close and bounded set need not be compact but in rnd where d is a euclidean distance in that case you can say every close and bounded set is compact okay so make a screenshot of it then we will stop thank you see you